Berry, Wikipedia article audio. In botany, a berry is a fleshy fruit without a stone produced from a single flower containing one ovary. Berries so defined include grapes, currants, and tomatoes, as well as cucumbers, eggplants, and bananas, but exclude certain fruits commonly called berries, such as strawberries and raspberries. The berry is the most common type of fleshy fruit in which the entire outer layer of the ovary wall ripens into a potentially edible pericarp. Berries may be formed from one or more carpels from the same flower. The seeds are usually embedded in the fleshy interior of the ovary, but there are some non-fleshy exceptions, such as peppers, with air rather than pulp around their seeds. Many berries are edible, but others, such as the fruits of the potato and the deadly nightshade, are poisonous to humans. Some berries, such as the white and red mulberry, are poisonous when unripe, but are edible in their ripe form. Botanical Berries Modified Berries A plant that bears berries is said to be Baxiferous or Bacate. In everyday English, a berry is any small edible fruit. Berries are usually juicy, round, brightly colored, sweet or sour, and do not have a stone or pit, although many pips or seeds may be present. In botanical language, a berry is a simple fruit having seeds and fleshy pulp produced from the ovary of a single flower. The ovary can be inferior or superior. It is indehiscent, i.e. it does not have a special line of weakness along which it splits to release the seeds when ripe. The pericarp is divided into three layers. The outer layer is called the exocarp or epicarp, the middle layer, the mesocarp or sarcocarp, the inner layer, the endocarp. Botanists have not applied these terms consistently. Exocarp and endocarp may be restricted to more or less single-layered skins, or may include tissues adjacent to them, thus on one view, the exocarp extends inwards to the layer of vascular bundles. The inconsistency in usage has been described as a source of confusion. The nature of the endocarp distinguishes a berry from a droop, which has a hardened or stony endocarp. The two kinds of fruit intergrade, depending on the state of the endocarp. Some sources have attempted to quantify the difference, e.g. requiring the endocarp to be less than 2 mm thick in a berry. Examples of botanical berries include Fruits not botanical berries. True berries, or baki, may also be required to have a thin outer skin, not self supporting when removed from the berry. This distinguishes, for example, a vaccinium or selenum berry from an Adonsonia amphisarca, which has a dry, more rigid, and self supporting skin. The fruit of citrus, such as the orange, kumquat, and lemon, is a berry with a thick rind and a very juicy interior divided into segments by septae, that is given the special name Hesperidium. A specialized term, pipo, is also used for fruits of the gourd family Cucurbitaceae, which are modified to have a hard outer rind, but are not internally divided by septae. The fruits of Passiflora and Carica are sometimes also considered pipos. Berries that develop from an inferior ovary are sometimes termed epigenous berries or false berries, as opposed to true berries, which develop from a superior ovary. In epigenous berries, the berry includes tissue derived from parts of the flower besides the ovary. The floral tube formed from the basal part of the sepals, petals, and stamens can become fleshy at maturity and is united with the ovary to form the fruit. Common fruits that are sometimes classified as epigenous berries include bananas, coffee, 
members of the genus Vaccinium, and members of the family Cucurbitaceae. Droops Many fruits commonly referred to as berries are not actual berries by the scientific definition, but fall into one of the following categories. Droops are fleshy fruits produced from a single seeded ovary with a hard woody layer surrounding the seed. Familiar examples include the stone fruits of Prunus genus, olives, coconut, and bayberry. Per se species Some definitions make the mere presence of an internally differentiated endocarp the defining feature of a droop. Others qualify the nature of the endocarp required in a droop, e.g. defining berries to have endocarp less than 2 mm thick. The term drupaceous is used of fruits that have the general structure and texture of a droop, without necessarily meeting the full definition. Other droop-like fruits with a single seed that lack the stony endocarp include sea buckthorn, which is an akene surrounded by a swollen hypanthium that provides the fleshy layer. Fruits of coffea species are described as either droops or berries. The pome fruits produced by plants in subtribe Pyrene of family Rosaceae, such as apples and pears, have a structure in which tough tissue clearly separates the seeds from the outer softer pericarp. However, some of the smaller poems are sometimes referred to as berries. Amelanchier poems become so soft at maturity that they resemble a blueberry and are known as June berries, service berries, or Saskatoon berries. Poems Aggregate or compound fruits contain seeds from different ovaries of a single flower with the individual fruitlets joined together at maturity to form the complete fruit. Examples of aggregate fruits commonly called berries include members of the rubus genus, such as blackberry and raspberry. Other large aggregate fruits, such as soursop, are not usually called berries, although some sources do use this term. Aggregate fruits Multiple fruits are the fruits of two or more multiple flowers that are merged or packed closely together. The mulberry is a berry-like example of a multiple fruit, it develops from a cluster of tiny separate flowers that become compressed as they develop into fruit. Multiple fruits In accessory fruits, the edible part is not generated by the ovary. Berry-like examples include The female seed cones of some conifers have fleshy and merged scales, giving them a berry-like appearance. Juniper berries, in particular those of Juniperus communis, are used to flavor gin. The seed cones of species in the Podocarpaceae and Taxaceae families have a bright color when fully developed, increasing the resemblance to true berries. The berries of use consist of a female seed cone with which develops a fleshy red arrow partially enclosing the poisonous seed. Accessory fruits The Latin word baca or baca was originally used for any small round fruit. Andrea says Alpinus classified plants into trees and herbs, further dividing them by properties of their flowers and fruit. He did not make the modern distinction between fruits and seeds, calling hard structures like nuts semina or seeds. A fleshy fruit was called a pericarpium. For says Alpinus, a true baca or berry was a pericarpium derived from a flower with a superior ovary, one derived from a flower with an inferior ovary was called a pomum. In 1751, Carl Linnaeus wrote Philosophia Botanica, considered to be the first textbook of descriptive systematic botany. He used eight different terms for fruits, one of which was baca or berry, distinguished from other types of fruits such as drupa and pomum. A baca was defined as pericarpium farctum e valve, semina ceteroquin nuda continens, meaning unvalved solid pericarp 
containing otherwise naked seeds. The adjective farctus here has the sense of solid with tissue softer than the outside, stuffed. A berry or baka was distinguished from a droop and a poem, both of which also had an unvalved solid pericarp, a droop also contained a nut and a poem a capsule, rather than the berry's naked seeds. Linnaeus' use of baca and pomum was thus significantly different from that of Cesalpinus. Botanists continue to differ on how fruits should be classified. Joseph Gardner published a two-volume work, De Fructibus et Seminibus Plantarum between 1788 and 1792. In addition to Linnaeus' eight terms, he introduced seven more, including pipo for the berry-like fruits of cucurbits. A pipo was distinguished by being a fleshy berry with the seeds distant from the axis, and so near the fruit wall. Nicaes Augusta des Vos in 1813 used the terms Hesperidium and Amphisarca as further subdivisions of berries. A Hesperidium, called by others Baca corticata, had separate internal compartments and a separable membraneous epicarp or skin. An amphisarca was described as woody on the outside and fleshy on the inside. Hesperidium remains in general use, but amphisarca is rarely used. There remains no universally agreed system of classification for fruits, and there continues to be confusion over classification of fruit types and the definitions given to fruit terms. By definition, berries have a fleshy, indehiscent pericarp, as opposed to a dry, dehiscent pericarp. Fossils show that early flowering plants had dry fruits, fleshy fruits, such as berries or droops, appeared only towards the end of the Cretaceous period or the beginning of the Paleogene period, about 66 million years ago. The increasing importance of seed dispersal by fruit-eating vertebrates, both mammals and birds, may have driven the evolution of fleshy fruits. Alternatively, the causal direction may be the other way round. Large fleshy fruits are associated with moist habitats with closed tree canopies, where wind dispersal of dry fruits is less effective. Such habitats were increasingly common in the Paleogene and the associated change in fruit type may have led to the evolution of fruit eating in mammals and birds. Berry-like conifer seed cones Fruit type has been considered to be a useful character in classification and in understanding the phylogeny of plants. The evolution of fruits with a berry-like pericarp has been studied in a wide range of flowering plant families. Repeated transitions between fleshy and dry pericarps have been demonstrated regularly. One well-studied family is the Solanaceae, because of the commercial importance of fruits such as tomatoes, bell peppers, and eggplants or aubergines. Capsules which are dry dehiscent fruits, appear to be the original form of the fruit in the earliest diverging members of the family. Berries have then evolved at least three times, in Cestrum, Duboisia, and in the subfamily Solanoidae. Detailed anatomical and developmental studies have shown that the berries of Cestrum and those of the Solanoidae are significantly different, for example, Expansion of the fruit during development involves cell divisions in the mesocarp in Solanoidae berries, but not in Cestrum berries. History of Terminology When fruits described as berries were studied in the family Melastomaceae, they were found to be highly variable in structure, some being soft with an endocarp that soon broke down, others having a hard, persistent endocarp even woody in some species. Fruits classified as berries are thus not necessarily homologous, with the fleshy part being derived from different parts of the ovary, and with other structural and developmental differences. 
the presence or absence of berries is not a reliable guide to phylogeny. Indeed, fruit type in general has proved to be an unreliable guide to flowering plant relationships. Strawberry, the aggregate of seed like achenes is actually the fruit, derived from an aggregate of ovaries, and the fleshy part develops from the receptacle, mock strawberry, Duchesnia indica, structured just like a strawberry, sea grape, the fruit is a dry capsule surrounded by fleshy calyx, eastern teaberry, the fruit is a dry capsule surrounded by fleshy calyx. Berries, defined loosely, have been valuable as a food source to humans since prior to the start of agriculture, and remain among the primary food sources of other primates. Botanically defined berries with culinary uses include Some berries are brightly colored, due to plant pigments such as anthocyanins and other flavonoids. These pigments are localized mainly in the outer surface and the seeds. Such pigments have antioxidant properties in vitro, but there is no reliable evidence that they have antioxidant or any other useful functions within the human body. Consequently, it is not permitted to claim that foods containing plant pigments have antioxidant health value on product labels in the United States or Europe. Berries in the strictest sense, including bananas and plantains, blueberries, cranberries, the seeds of coffee berries, gooseberries, red, black and white currants, tomatoes, grapes and peppers, hesperidia, citrus fruits including oranges, lemons and limes, pipos, cucurbits, including squashes, cucumbers, melons and watermelons. Some spices are prepared from berries. All spices made from the dried berries of Pimenta dioica. The fruits of different cultivars of Capsicum annuum are used to make paprika, chili pepper, and cayenne pepper. Evolution and phylogenetic significance Uses Culinary Others Pipos, characterized by a hard outer rind, have also been used as containers by removing the inner flesh and seeds and then drying the remaining exocarp. The English name of Lagenaria cicerarea, bottle gourd, reflects its use as a liquid container. Some true berries have also been used as a source of dyes. In Hawaii, these included berries from a species of Dianella used to produce blue, and berries from black nightshade, used to produce green. Cucurbit berries or pipos, particularly from Cucurbita and Lagenaria, are the earliest plants known to be domesticated a euro before 9,000 a euro 10,000 bp in the Americas and probably by 12,000 euro 13,000 BP in Asia. Peppers were domesticated in Mesoamerica by 8,000 BP. Many other early cultivated plants were also berries by the strict botanical definition, including grapes, domesticated by 8,000 BP and known to have been used in wine production by 6,000 BP. Bananas were first domesticated in Papua New Guinea and Southeast Asia. Archaeological and paleo-environmental evidence at Cook Swamp in the Western Highlands province of Papua New Guinea suggests that banana cultivation there goes back to at least 7,000 BP, and possibly to 10,000 BP. The history of cultivated citrus fruit remains unclear although some recent research suggests a possible origin in Papuasia rather than continental Southeast Asia. Chinese documents show that mandarins and pomelos were established in cultivation there by around 4,200 BP. According to Feostat data, 
in 2013 four of the five top fruit crops in terms of world production by weight were botanical berries. The other was a poem. A Euro citrus fruit includes, but is not limited to, oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruit, tangerines, mandarins, clementinas and satsumas. Oranges make up 53% of the total. History According to Feostat, in 2001, bananas and citrus comprised over 25% by value of the world's exported fruits and vegetables, citrus fruits being more valuable than bananas. Export quantities of fruit are not entirely comparable with production quantities, since slightly different categories are used. The top five fruit exports by weight in 2012 are shown in the table below. The top two places are again occupied by bananas and citrus. A Euro citrus fruit includes oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruit, tangerines, mandarins, clementinas, and satsumas. Oranges make up 43% of the total, a euro prepared fruit here is fruit, nuts, and peel, including frozen, prepared or preserved, jam, paste, marmalade, pour a copyright e and cooked fruits, other than those listed separately. Commercial Production Notes